11. Genoviva Nunez Figueroa. One day in 2014, deputies in Thousand Oaks, California, received calls during the early morning hours about a woman wailing. They probably weren't expecting to find 30-year-old Genoviva Nunez Figueroa trapped inside the chimney of a man she had recently met online. Firefighters and rescue workers had to dismantle the chimney and cover her in dish soap in order to get her out. Nunez Figueroa was conscious, but was taken to a hospital for evaluation. She was charged with illegal entry and giving false information to a peace officer. The man who lived at the house wasn't home at the time. It was the second time Nunez Figueroa was seen on his property. Two weeks earlier, he discovered her on his roof and called the police, but she promptly disappeared. He told police that he saw Nunez Figueroa briefly, but cut things off after a few dates. Speaking to ABC7, he said that he was going to be more careful going forward about who he invited into his house. 10. Impromptu Amputation 31-year-old Jonathan Metz was doing routine maintenance on his furnace at his Connecticut home in 2010 when he somehow got his arm stuck in it. Unable to sit or stand upright, he screamed as loud as he could for help, but nobody heard him. When two days passed, he could smell rotting flesh and knew that his time to survive the ordeal was running short. At a lack of other options, he decided his only choice was to amputate his own arm. He tied a tourniquet around it and began cutting through the limb with a saw blade. After making it about halfway through, he couldn't take any more suffering. Metz had lost about half his blood and was in pain and horrified at the sight of what he was doing. He later told the Today Show that he was on the verge of just letting himself die. But he began thinking about his fiance, dog, and other loved ones and got one final burst of motivation to survive. In the meantime, his coworkers became concerned when he didn't show up for work. One of his colleagues stopped by to check on him and became even more worried when he didn't answer the door. The coworker could hear Metz's dog crying from inside and decided to go in. He found his friend in the basement. By then, 18 hours had passed since Metz started cutting away at his arm. The coworker dialed 911 and he was rushed to the hospital. Doctors said that his decision to cut the rotting flesh off his arm was life-saving, even if he was unable to cut through his entire limb. If he hadn't, he would have most likely died from blood poisoning. Shortly after the ordeal, Metz told Today that he had come to terms with the reality of losing his arm and was expecting to be fitted with a prosthetic. 9. Bathroom Nightmare A 54-year-old woman who lived alone in Bangkok, Thailand, got stuck inside her bathroom one day in 2022 when the doorknob malfunctioned. She didn't have her phone with her, leaving her with no choice but to bang on the door for hours on end and hope that somebody outside of her apartment overheard her and got help. The woman was also without food or drinking water. She drank from the sink, although it's not customary for people to drink tap water without boiling it first in Thailand. Nobody overheard her yelling for help, and she became exhausted from shouting and banging on the door. After being unable to reach the woman for three days straight, her sister reported her missing to the police. Officers went to her townhouse to investigate. They climbed over the front gate and used pliers to break in through her front door. Once inside, they found the woman in a severely weakened state. On the wall, she had written a farewell note with some cosmetic lotion, believing that nobody was going to come and rescue her in time to save her life. The note said that she had been stuck in the bathroom for days and that she had taken measures to try escaping but failed to get anyone's attention. It also included instructions on how to handle her will, property, and other final affairs. Luckily, those instructions weren't necessary. The woman was taken to the hospital, where she was found to be in surprisingly good health. 8. Mom Crushed by Couch A young woman named Claire did everything she could think of to help her 53-year-old mother, Melissa, after discovering she was trapped on a staircase beneath a couch at the family's Columbus, Ohio home. Melissa and her partner, Todd, were moving the couch into their basement 
when it got stuck with Melissa underneath it, leaving only a small opening with enough room for her to reach her arm through. After trying and failing to help free her mother, Claire began filming the ordeal. She shared the footage on TikTok, where it quickly garnered more than 13 million views. Melissa remained stuck for three hours while the family tried to think of ways to free her. Todd even made a hole in the wall, but they still couldn't get the sofa unstuck. At a loss for other options, they called the fire department. Luckily, the responding firefighters were able to remove the handrail and moved the couch out of the way. Claire said that her mom didn't find the situation very funny while she was trapped, but that she was able to laugh about it afterward. 7. Botched Burglaries A man tried robbing a home in Maryland during the early morning hours one day in early 2022 and became stuck in the chimney. Two dozen firefighters reported to the scene, where they spent more than 90 minutes dismantling the chimney brick by brick to free the burglar. It was unclear how he got stuck, according to local officials. The man was transported to the hospital with minor injuries, while the homeowner was left with a major mess to deal with. In a similar incident back in late 2017, an accused burglar got himself stuck in the chimney of a Sacramento business. 32-year-old Jesse Berube was able to move around enough to dial 911. Firefighters extricated him from the chimney, and he was luckily uninjured. Police said that Berube lacked the skills of a seasoned criminal, but nevertheless charged him with burglary and published his hilarious mugshot, which showed his face covered in ash. 6. Megan Kenway Head 23-year-old Megan Kenway Head didn't plan on becoming internet famous with a hilarious video of herself trapped in a child swing at a park in Southampton, England, but that's what happened in 2018, when she climbed into the swing to make her child laugh and became hopelessly stuck. Neither Morgan nor her partner were able to free her from the swing giving them no other choice than to call emergency services. Local firefighters came to the rescue and freed her, and the video of the ordeal soon made its way to at least 11 different countries. Not all of the feedback was positive. Some commenters implied that Megan squandered emergency resources. Watch manager Andy Walton told the Daily Echo that at the end of the day, his agency is there for anyone who needs them. He added that he'd rather go on an admittedly strange call to help a young woman stuck in a child swing than pull her from a horrific car wreck. Megan clarified that she wouldn't have called for help if she didn't actually need it, and promised to donate half the proceedings from her newfound fame to charity. She gave the money to a firefighter's charity. 5. Stuck under a statue While performing a religious ritual in 2022, a devotee got stuck between the legs of a small elephant statue in Gujarat, India. Viral Twitter footage showed the man wriggling helplessly in an attempt to free himself in the presence of amused bystanders, including the priest of the temple the incident happened at. The priest and another man tried to pull the man out, but were unsuccessful. In the meantime, onlookers offered well-intending but not very helpful advice including to suck his stomach in and to twist himself out by turning his midriff. Nobody seems to know how the situation concluded, but it's probably safe to assume that the man somehow got unstuck. Surprisingly, it wasn't the first time something like this happened. In 2019, a woman got stuck beneath a similar statue while performing a religious ritual. Based on photos of her smiling throughout the ordeal that appeared on social media, her situation seemed a little less dire than the man who got stuck more recently. 4. Disastrous Family Day 82-year-old retired college professor W. Wayne Smith, his wife June, and their granddaughter were looking forward to having lunch and seeing Aladdin together at the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C. in 2019. But they never made it to the show because the elevator they were on stalled before it reached the floor of the restaurant they planned to eat at. The trio immediately called for help. They spent about two hours stranded in the lift while firefighters figured out the best way to get them to safety. Rescuers pulled the family up through a small opening in the elevator's ceiling. From there, they had to go another 40 feet, 12.2 meters or so, 
to reach the top of the elevator shaft, according to Smith, who spoke with the Washington Post after the harrowing rescue. They were all rescued safely and received tickets to an Aladdin show the following month. In the words of a fire department spokesperson, they did not get to see the magic carpet, but got a unique ride of their own. 3. Cuban Castaways In early 2021, two Cuban men and one woman set out in a small boat in hopes of reaching Florida and starting a new life in the U.S. But they experienced a mechanical failure and only made it as far as Anguilla Cay, an uninhabited island in the Bahamas, where they became stranded with no way to call for help. For over a month, the trio slept on trees and ate coconuts, conchs, and rodents. Lacking a source of fresh water, they suffered from severe dehydration and fatigue. They managed to fly a flag from the island in hopes that someone would notice it and rescue them. A Coast Guard plane spotted them while flying overhead during a routine patrol, but the aircraft was low on fuel and couldn't retrieve the castaways right then and there. The crew dropped some food, water, and a radio to communicate with while they organized a rescue effort. They sent another food drop and then returned the next day with a helicopter and carried the group to safety. Command duty officer Sean Connett described it as a very complex operation. Speaking with the South Florida Sun Sentinel, Petty Officer 2nd Class Brandon Murray called the rescue a miracle, adding that he couldn't remember a time when his unit rescued someone who was stranded on a deserted island for more than a month. 2. A Mortal Mission When a toilet in the woman's bathroom at a shopping mall in Calgary, Alberta wouldn't flush one day in 2018, a maintenance worker was dispatched to deal with what seemed at first like a routine problem. But he encountered a shocking surprise when he removed a panel from the wall to access the toilet's flushing sensor. A deceased man. Police quickly responded to the scene. They declined to publicly identify the man, who appeared to be in his late 20s, but said that there were no signs of foul play and that the death appeared to be accidental. Speaking with the Canadian press, a police spokesperson said that it looked as though he fell through a vent and became trapped in the space. The agency later announced that the man entered the woman's bathroom several days earlier when nobody else was in there and climbed over the wall behind the toilets, at which point he became stuck. Nobody but the man knows why he went behind the wall, and he took that information to the grave. 1. Stuck on Cruise Control At the beginning of a 124-mile, 200-kilometer drive from China's Hunan province to Jiangxi in 2022, a man known only as Mr. Luo set his cruise control to 62 miles per hour, 100 kilometers per hour. Halfway through the trip, he realized that he couldn't slow down, his brakes were ineffective, and he couldn't turn the cruise control off. Fearing the worst, Luo later said that he broke down and cried. Once he regained his composure, he called for help. Authorities dispatched several vehicles to surround the man's crossover and act as an escort. In the meantime, they reached out to the car's manufacturer, Haval, but nobody knew what to do about the problem. Luo continued to drive for another 311 miles, 500 kilometers, until he ran out of fuel. Thankfully, he managed to come to a safe stop after traveling almost three times as far as he originally planned. The vehicle was taken to Haval so employees could try to figure out how the cruise control malfunctioned in the first place. In the meantime, Luo said it would be a long time before he used cruise control again. This wasn't the first time a car got stuck on cruise control. In 2018, a man named Mr. Shui ran into the same problem while driving 75 miles per hour, 120 kilometers per hour in his new Mercedes-Benz in central China. He managed to keep the car in control while police cars cleared three lanes of the highway to prevent any collisions. Shui called the company and they were able to turn the cruise control off remotely. Thanks for watching. Would you rather spend 12 hours stuck in a tiny dark closet or work a 24 hour shift at your job with just one meal break? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.